Okay. So I kept getting this download. What does your business require? What does your business require? What does your business require? And this download just like it kept repeating in my mind and in my head. And whenever that tends to happen, I like after I receive a download like that, I just like I'm energetically open for the information that is linked to um, to the download, right? So then I'll just come across podcast episodes or I will find an article or something will come on my path, which will make me understand the download at a deeper level. So what does your business require? And then it became so clear to me, right? So like, you know, by now, a couple of months ago, I made the shift. I made the shift from the level I was at to the current level I am now entering in. And it literally feels like that. It literally feels like a portal, like I have arrived at this whole complete new level and I have been in the between phase the last couple of months. And now it's like, we're there, we have arrived. And it was so funny because here in the Netherlands yesterday, it was crazy. The weather was like storming and rain, but like really extreme. Even my husband came upstairs and he was like, oh my God, so did you see the weather? And I was like, yes, it's perfect. It makes so much sense that this happens the night before my big reveal. And it's so funny because it's now... 1 p.m. in the afternoon, I spent the morning with my lovely daughter um, we, and with my dog and we, we walked, we, she slept already, we played, I listened to, to some episodes, we took a nice long bath together, um, I uh, answered all my beautiful Voxer messages and I have not yet really uh, sent out any emails around the big review. Um, I will do that after this uh, episode, but I just felt so strongly that I want to record this episode first. It's like the big review, it's big, but at the same time, it is, it's just like, it makes so much sense that it's not really a big deal for me, right? Um, I, it, it sort of reminds me of the time, of the time, <laughs> of that time, <laughs> that sounds funny, of the time that I became pregnant. We waited four months before we told anybody, even my mom, uh, even my closest, like my brother, his his wife, my sister-in-law, we waited four months because it just felt so aligned to just like enjoy it with the two of us. And uh, it wasn't that we didn't want to share it with anybody or that they weren't supposed to know. It just, it, it wasn't time yet. It wasn't ready. It wasn't, it wasn't. It wasn't a big deal. And then it was a big deal at the same time, right? Of course, it was beautiful to be pregnant with this beautiful soul. But it felt like so aligned. It was like, yes, of course, this now happens. And I have a similar feeling around this new business. About Yeah, it's like, it's a big deal. And then at the same time, it's like, yes, of course. But this is where we have been working towards for the whole entire time so of course this is the result right so yeah it's an interesting interesting energy very powerful and gra- it's a very grounded energy that's what it is it's very grounded and i love that i absolutely love that um so what does your business require that's the download that i received for this episode and they like they kept showing me the vision of you as a person, as a soul leader, and then your business. And I feel like a lot of entrepreneurs um, make the mistake of thinking that they are the business. I feel like leaders really understand that energetic difference, right? They know they, they have a business, but they are not their business. I have a business, but I'm not my business. I am the head of my business. I am the sole leader of my business. And that requires that I tune in regularly with my business and really feel like, okay, what do you require? So this is something I started implementing a couple of months ago when I received this download. I was like, okay, what does my business require? Then I kept like, I kept Uh, coming across podcast episodes and I kept getting these downloads and they made it like gradually, they made it clear to me 
what they meant with that sentence. What does your business require? And for me, it became very, it became a part of my, my daily practice to tune in and see, okay, what does my business require? What does it require? And the beautiful thing is when you can stay open and not, um, um, stagmatic, is that a word? Like really pragmatic, you want to be pragmatic? Is that the right word? You want to stay open in how that looks, right? So a lot of the time people tend to think in certain rituals or certain patterns and they think, okay, I'm going to get up and then I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that and I'm going to do this, okay? For me personally, that doesn't work. I am a soul that evolves and every day is different for me, right? So one day I will wake up at seven or eight and I'll be like, okay, I want to dive right into filling my cup and I'm going to just tune in to some beautiful podcast episodes of other soul leaders and align myself with that energy. And that might be my like my energetic charging up moment, right? But then another time I will wake up at eight or nine and be like, okay, now I first really want to be fully present with my daughter and play with her and take a beautiful bath with her. And that will be my playtime with with my daughter, right? So I do have these particular things set up every day that allows me to be the best version of myself, that allows me to be the soul leader, that allows me to be the divine a high value healer for my customers that the, that allows me to be the divine mother for our beautiful daughter to be a divine partner for my husband i have all these things set up but i'm very open in how i actually align those things during the day and how i i don't plan them i let it evolve so i have my i have my list i know what things i really want to check every day i want to make sure i have playtime with zoe Zoe Sophia, I'm sorry. <laughs> we tend to call her Zoe, but we're trying to practice to start calling her Zoe Sophia, which is her name. Um, um, that got me off track a little bit. Um, so I have that time set up. I have my time set up that I check in with my beautiful clients and really show up as a high level healer. And then I have time to show up as a soul leader in my business and really feel like, okay, what does my business require? So I have all these different things set up, but I am very open in it. So what does your business require? What does it require? And how often do you actually allow time in during the week, during the day to fee- to fully energetically tune into your business entity and be like, okay, what do you require? So for example, when I open up new portals, I always check in like, okay, what does this new portal require from me as a soul leader? What, where do I need to invest my money in to make this portal an amazing experience for myself and my clients? What do I need to energetically um, change in my daily rituals or in my eating habits or in my uh, mindset, right? What do I need to adjust there to really deliver the things that I promise to my beautiful clients, right? And this is not about me making myself responsible for the outcome of my clients, but it is me making myself responsible for the role that I play in this part. And that is the role as a soul leader of a beautiful soul aligned business, right? So we need to understand that as soul leaders, you need to invest in yourself, not only by money, but also with your energy and the food you eat and the the things you drink and the information you consume, we tend to consume so much information, but how much of that information is actually high value information, right? How much uh, of that is actually filling your cup instead of draining your cup? So I am actually very intentional with the information I take in, right? I, I really... And very deliberate in, okay, this information I want to consume and this information I don't want to consume. 
uh, this is who I follow. This is who I don't follow. I'm very intentional with the things I do. And I think as a soul leader, that is part of our job to be very intentional, very intentional with the things we do. So I really want to present this question to you today. Like, what does your business require? Where do you need to grow? Where do you need to evolve? Where are you invited into growth and evolution, right? And I really feel like if you want to take your business to a next level and you're sort of like, okay, I love the level that I'm at, but I'm ready for the next level, then that requires a new version of you. It requires you to step up and to energetically understand the difference between you as a soul leader and the identity and yeah, identity of your business. So... What does your business require? They keep telling us, keep repeating it, keep repeating it. Let the question sink in. What does your business require? Where do you want to invest? And it's so interesting because it's not even about wanting to invest. It's like, where do you desire to invest? Because your soul desires the growth. Your business desires the growth. And both are connected. You as a soul, you lead the business. So that's a very important definition I received around the soul leader. The soul leader leads her business instead of being led by the business, which happens a lot in the world of entrepreneurship, right? A lot of entrepreneurs are led by their business and a soul leader leads her business. She has the vision. She understands where she's going. She understands how to invest in herself to really scale her business to those 100k months. She understands what it takes to really deliver the results that she wants to um, achieve with her beautiful soul aligned clients. She understands her responsibility. And as a soul leader, you have a responsibility for your business and for the beautiful clients that enter your business to make sure that they are provided. And that starts with you claiming your role as a soul leader and understanding the responsibility of being a soul leader. It's very much the same as being a mom. I mean, you want to take care, good care of yourself, right? Otherwise, you cannot take care of your children. I know that a lot of moms don't do that. And I know a lot of moms really are like, okay, my child is like everything. And like, there's nothing of me left and all that kind of stuff. No judgment there. But I feel like it's so like, so, like our daughter is everything to me. And I'm like almost 24 seven with her. Um, we're changing that a little bit because of course I do block time to really um, record these kind of messages and to do sort of like the, um, the formal things in my business. But a lot of the things I can actually love, a lot of the things I do in my business, I can do with my daughter present, which is beautiful. So for me, it's very important as a soul leader of a beautiful soul company that it, it, it integrates beautiful with the raising of our beautiful daughter. For me, it's, that's, that's very important. I'm not the kind of mom that brings the, the child to, to daycare. Uh, again, there's no judgment there. Uh, I myself went uh, to daycare five days a, uh, a week. But for me personally, in my journey at this point in my life, it doesn't feel so aligned to bring my child to, to daycare. I do, on the other hand, have an amazing mother who comes every week and she takes care of our beautiful daughter. And the other days I sort of work around that. So as a soul leader, you also get to decide on your own uh, rules, right? You get to decide how you want to um, design your business. And the freedom that comes with that is so enormous. And that is, I almost feel like that is the reward of being a soul leader, right? When you lead your business, then you get to decide the rules. That is the, that is the reward. If you are led by your business, then your business is deciding the rules. And then you will find yourself doing things in your business that don't feel so aligned. Then you might take on more one-on-one -on -one clients than you would, would want. Or you're stuck in a business that doesn't fill your soul or... You find yourself working 24-7 while you really want to be with your children or you really want to travel or do other amazing things. As a soul leader, you decide. You decide the rules, but it takes a soul leader to lead 
a soul business. So that means that you need to show up as a soul leader and really, really start tuning in and understanding what your business requires and how you need to show up as the soul leader so you can decide on your own rules for your business. So where where do you want to invest your money in? And it is not, it's not wanting, they're saying, stop saying wanting, it's desire. Where do you desire to invest your money in? And this is not an if question. There is no if. Should I invest money in development, in business development, in leadership development, in in soul development? The answer is always yes. If you want your business to grow, if you want your business to evolve, you need to invest in those kind of things. There is no other way. There is no other way because as you invest in yourself as a soul leader, because that what that is what happens when you invest. You don't invest in a portal. You don't invest in another coach. You invest in yourself. Then you get to re- see the reflection of that in your business. So it's it's very interesting, this download that I just received. So they're telling me it's not even about you just investing. It is about what is the intention behind the investment? If your intention is, okay, I'm going to invest in a portal so I can sort of see uh, if I can like free myself from my business or my company, then that's what you'll get. But when your intention is like, okay, I am a soul leader and I'm now choosing to invest in portals that will actually strengthen me in my leadership skills, that will strengthen me in my in my ability to channel my own beautiful content, to channel all my beautiful downloads. And it doesn't matter what kind of job you do. I mean, even as a lawyer, you you have those channels. You can channel your own vision. You can channel your own strategies. I do not supply the strategies for my clients. My mentor does not supply me with any strategies. Everything comes from me. But she does help me to stay energetically open to receive all that information and her energy does help me to become even more sensitive and receive more in-depth downloads than I would have had if I wasn't working with her. And that's what I also provide for my clients. I provide sort of an, an, um, I'm not sure what the right word is, like an accelerator. Like when you work with me, it's like you're like 10,000 times more open to receive the kind of information that you want to receive to bring your business forward. But you are the sole leader. I'm not going to tell you what to do. That's not my job. I don't know what to do. I don't know what you have to do. That's, That's not my part. But I am able to energetically open you up and to make sure that you get the downloads from the right sources that you start trusting the downloads that you receive, that you understand what it takes to be a soul leader, what it takes for you to energetically skill yourself to those 100k months. Because like I said in my previous episode, it's really about like you becoming energetically ready to receive those 100k months. Strategies, it's not so interesting. It really doesn't matter what you do. That's what they keep showing me. Like what you do is not so important. Of course, you 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 will do something, some kind of strategy. I mean, everybody uses a strategy, but if you take strategy A, B, C, or D, that is not really relevant. The only thing that's relevant is that it's so aligned and I channel my strategies. I channel my steps. I channel the things that I do in my business and that's why it works because I channel it. I don't make it up for my mind. And the difference between making something up from your mind and channeling it is like big time because when you when you make something up from your mind, there's always doubt and you're always like, oh my God, was this a good thing? Was it a bad thing? Who knows? But when you channel, you just know, you're just like, you're not, you're not attached to the outcome when you channel something and that makes all the difference in the world. So I could go on forever, but um, that is not the point of this episode. We want to keep it sort of like short and to the point. We all have busy schedules. I mean, busy working, busy being beautiful moms, busy uh, enjoying lives. I mean, not only like busy agendas in the sense of working gigs. I mean, um, thank God I have empty agenda if it comes to that. But I do have a filled agenda like you could hear in the beginning of the episode with all the other things I have set up like playtime and 
uh, having beautiful uh, quality time with my husband and like uh, having beautiful time to call with my family and to do the voxers and to show up in my business like those things are filling up my agenda so we don't want to over consume with um with information here so around 15 minutes i'm not sure where we're currently at okay 20 okay that's enough <laughs> that is enough they're telling me so um if you're ready to scale to this 100k months and you're like yes sophie this is so me i'm ready to claim that reclaim that soul leader role because it is a matter of reclaiming you have been a leader in past life experiences that i can assure you and if you are ready to reclaim to remember what it takes to really show up as a soul leader making 100k months then i am inviting you into the 100k prep mastermind it is an amazing amazing experience um we will start off with a beautiful high-end lunch it's gonna be epic it's gonna be beautiful it's gonna be so cool and uh, after that we're gonna work intensely together for six weeks in the mastermind foxer portal and we will also do one-on-one checkups so i can really energetically tweak you to really become that vessel where you will allow in those 100k months it's epic it's beautiful it is iconic i love the name iconic my friend isa she's actually she's such a soul leader as well and she does these beautiful things and she has her own podcast channel and we went through like we uh we had a very strong connection around 2019 then certain things happened we sort of passed yeah our our path went different ways and then recently we reconnected again and it was so interesting because we were just like simultaneously going through the same processes so as i was like launching the chosen one she was launching the iconic one so in our messages we were like oh my god it's so legendary the iconic one and the le- and the chosen one it's like legendary so so beautiful and i'm so grateful for all the beautiful soul leaders i get to surround myself with and we are all like collectively taking this to the next level and if you want to be a part of it then jump right on the train it's ready it's ready it's ready it's ready it's right there for you so go to www.sophieditmar.com slash mastermind you will find all the information there and the application form i do not work with everybody that means that i'm very picky in uh, what energies I surround myself with and what energies I allow into this mastermind. It has to uplift me. Your energy has to uplift me and it has to be aligned with a soul leader. Yeah, a soul leader energy. That's so important to me. So yes, this is your chance to jump on the train and come with us to a beautiful new epic chapter of wealth fulfillment big visions big downloads big 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 everything big (laughs) okay so have an amazing day and we'll talk soon so imagine this you me and five other amazing soul leaders at a beautiful high-end location surrounding ourselves with beautiful richness beautiful food beautiful energy beautiful surroundings and conversations really setting you up to make those 100k months this is for the beautiful soul leaders who are ready to scale their business who are ready to leave the beautiful platform you have been on behind and move on to the next beautiful level that is awaiting for you this is your time